Now, Mother, when I say I've got everything under control, you have to believe me. You remember what Dr. Bob said. He said you need to start letting go and letting Carl grow up and be a big boy. Do you remember? Yes, he did too say that. He did not say I have to rub your feet. There was no discussion. Mother, I do not have time for this, okay? I'm at, I'm at the urgent care. I'm taking care of it. I, I don't need... I, I, Mother, I know the technical terms for body parts. You don't have to... I, I, it, do you realize how uncomfortable it makes me to hear you say that? Do not ever utter those words again, Mother, with all due respect. It just, it's going to give me nightmares. Mother, I have to go. This, this lady is here. Are you a nurse? The nurse is here. I got to go. I'm going to use my best manners, Mother. I, I will be smart. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I got to go. Bye. Yes, yes, ma'am. I did complete my paperwork. I've got my little paper here. I just have a question about it before we get started. Um, now, th this insurance may be, may, this may be a new one for you. Uh, this is my insurance card. This, as you can see here, it is endorsed by Rob's Bait and Tackle, um, underwritten by Frank the Taxidermist. He works on Salisbury Street, so if you could just, yes ma'am, this is a, re... yes ma'am, this is a real insurance card. I know it looks like a piece of paper that was torn out of a memo pad, but it's real. It's real. I pay my premiums every month in green stamps and Walmart gift cards, but I need you to run that. Yes ma'am, I know, I know that you do not do that, but I don't know which lady around here does billing. Who's the lady that does the billing? Oh, Robert. I'm sorry. I should not have assumed it was a lady. That was very inappropriate. I'm sorry. Can you get Mr. Robert to look at this and run these numbers and tell me um, what I can expect to pay for this visit? I just need to know what to expect at the end of this. You know, I mean, are we talking... I realize that medical costs have gone up over time. Um, I have personally not had to avail myself of any services in quite a while, so I don't know. But Mother said it'd probably be a good idea to get this checked out. I made the mistake of discussing it with her, and now she's she's wringing her hands. She's at home just nervous. Just She's got this nervous disorder that she's just nervous all the time. She twitches and flickers about the house like a possessed moth or something and she said carl you better go and you better get checked out i don't know who would take care of me if something happened to you and well you know you could go on to that discount nursing home like i suggested five years ago and she yes ma'am uh mr robert yes the last time i had to go get anything done I had to go in for my 50,000 mile tune-up, you know, a few years ago. And I went to this place. It was actually in the back of a pool hall. But it was the only place in my network. And uh, But then it mysteriously burnt down. And, but then after that, I, I didn't have anywhere I could go. And, and Mother said that I should just try the urgent care since I don't have what they call... I don't know if you've ever heard this term. I do not have what they refer to as a primary care physician. That's a mouthful, I know, and I, I don't mean to, you know, confuse you, but I do not possess such a, a particular individual in my life, so to speak. So, can I ask you, ma'am, what, what is your name? Do you mind if I... Oh, you do have on a name tag. Yes, Miss Ashley. Miss Ashley, I have to say, it is lovely to meet you. My name is Carl. You can shake my hand, or you could you could put hand sanitizer on it. That's fine too. Would you like to shake my hand now? God, I'm I'm clean. I'm sanitary. No, well maybe maybe after we get to know one another better, <laughs> be nice. Oh no, I I understand, ma'am. No, I, I know you will not be examining me. I will just wait for the doctor to do that. Um questions well I, I do have some questions i filled out this paperwork um it asked about my weight now i can explain that now i know you weighed me out there in the hallway and you you made a face and uh well i'd see mother made this big turkey at christmas 
and she insisted that I eat a whole bunch of it every day. So my weight right now technically is not real because a whole lot of it was turkey. And I won't go into the whole mechanics of how that, you know, works itself out. But a lot of my weight right now, I do not claim it. I, I do not claim it because I, I feel like, you know, holiday stuff that happens over the holidays you shouldn't even have to weigh yourself until at least february because that's got to get all worked out so i mean i i know i know i know what you were thinking but you know you can't hold that you know you don't need to report that as an adverse health condition you know, my cholesterol um i do not know my cholesterol numbers so i just put down my social security number i didn't know if that would work can we just substitute one for the other we could put in my street number maybe my zip code i don't know my cholesterol number and um i'm fairly certain that my insurance will not cover a test like that um i do get 15 percent off oil changes at uh deaton's service station in nathanville i do get a discount on that but as far as cholesterol tests um i don't see it happening so uh does that happen around here a lot that's unnerving that's unnerving ma'am i have a, inherited a bit of my mother's nervous condition trains make me jittery my daddy was hit by a train or so they said. He, they also said he went out for cigarettes and never came back. So I'm not real sure what was co correct. You want to take? Um, well, I don't. I don't know. You do you need? Do you have to take my blood pressure? I mean, is that is that normal? Or are you just doing that because you want to get close to me? If you want to feel my guns, you don't have to make an excuse. I mean, I'll be happy to. You, I'll roll up my sleeve and don't mind the band-aid mother and i were playing twister the other night and she thought she'd be funny and she tried to tickle me and she stabbed me with her little pointy fingernails you you just go on and you go on and you can get closer to me if you need to i don't bite <laughs> not till the third date yeah if ma'am you go on to put that cuff around me Yes, I'm relaxed. I'm very relaxed. You're touching my arm. No, I don't mind at all. <laughs> it may affect my blood pressure, but I'll try to... I'm going to try to ignore it. Uh, it's, that tickles a little bit. Oh, that's getting tight. Is this, supposed to, is this supposed to get that tight? Oh, I don't like you anymore. That hurts. That hurts. Which making my blood do weird things is feeling flippy floppy in my veins when you squeeze my arm. You, you're a sadistic person. You don't do this to everybody. There's no way they would allow it. The American Medi Medical Association. There's no way they would condone that. And, okay, guys, it's loosening up now. Is it supposed? To, okay, is you, yes. Take it off. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. Can I, can I check a box on my form here where, where I don't have to go through that again? Can you just not? Um, I don't see anything on here where I can do that. So, um, yeah, no, I think I've got everything else on here. Do you need this or do I have to give it to the late Mr. Robert? Do I need to give this information to somebody? Oh, okay. Yeah, I take it up front when I leave. I, I yes, ma'am. I will do that. You need to take my temperature. Where does it involve taking my pants off? I'm not averse to that, but if I do, I have to explain something to you real quick. You may see something there that you did not expect. Not what you're thinking. It's something else, and that's the reason for my visit today. But I would appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody that. Well, I guess if you have to tell the doctor, then, you know, I, I guess I could live w with that um, oh, on my forehead. Can I, do I come over to you? Can I come over to you? I can slide over. Here's my forehead. Did it beep? I didn't hear it beep. 
you're breathing in my ear and it's making me feel kind of fuzzy. Okay. What did it say? Am I normal? <laughs> Is my temperature normal? I know I'm not normal. I hear that a lot. I, I hear that almost daily. Lady in the, the, the bakery thrift store today said I was... What did she call me? She said I was peculiar. And I don't know what to make of that word because that's where people don't use much anymore. I, she said, you're a peculiar man. You know that. All I wanted to know if they had any bread crusts they'd sell me. A lot of people cut them off sandwiches. I like them. You know, Mother always said that bread crusts is where the vitamins are. And I'm trying to be strong and healthy for the new year. You know, I got started off on the wrong foot literally and that's why i'm here today i'm trying to make 2022 the year of carl i want it to be the best year i ever had and i'm hoping to meet a special lady which i am um, not trying to be nosy but i am very observant and i did happen to notice that you are not wearing a wedding ring <laughs> does that mean what i think it means because if it I've never heard of a policy where you're not allowed to wear jewelry at work. Does your boss man have a problem with you letting people know stuff? Does your boss man not want you to look nice? Is he the controlling sort? Because I could have... It's a she. Well, you know what it is. I bet I know what her problem is. You're just so pretty that she's jealous and she's trying to make you not look so pretty so you can't adorn yourself with anything to accentuate your natural beauty, your clear natural beauty. And I, I don't know anything about jewelry causing problems with cleanliness. I mean, why can't you wear rings? We got soap and water. I'm just saying, I think you want to look a little deeper into that. So, uh, yes, ma'am, I don't mind if you sit down. Why are you getting comfortable, though, if I may ask? Okay, well, we want to know about my family history. Well, first of all, I don't know a whole lot about my father. I know he had webbed feet. His toes were fused together with a sheath of skin, and it was something he related from his father's family. Um, I do not possess that particular trait. Unfortunately, I have been told that if I ever procreate, which I really, really want to do, um, I may have some children with webbed feet. Would that bother you? Because there are surgeries they can do to, you know, fix that. If nothing else, I've got some garden shears, you know, we'll fix them right up. I've got garden shears and flex tape, and I think that would about do it. Um, but that, that's on down the road. Don't worry about it. Now, my, my mother, well, my mother, Lord, where do I start? My mother is a study in frustration. She, she loves me. I know she loves me because she tells me every five minutes in between telling me she hates me and wishes I'd move out, but then saying she hopes I'd ever move out. And sometimes I just don't understand how she feels because she's just like, you got, you got to go. You got to go, Carl. You don't, never, you're, you're never going to find a woman. You're never going to get married. I'm never going to be a grandmother. But then other times she's like, Carl, don't ever leave me. I'm getting pulled and pushed at the same time by the same person. Hell, when she's not at bingo, she's making my life hell. I don't... Oh, her health. Her health. Are we talking about mental health? Because we'll be here a while physical well physically she's she's remarkably spry i mean she's shimmy right up those steps to go up in the attic any old time i mean when i get on her last nerve she'll go up there and step her half a day just to get away from me so i mean she's i don't know how old she is she won't tell me she said that she's she's as old as her nose and a little bit older than her teeth Personally, I think she's a lot older than the teeth she puts in a glass every night. So I'm not sure if that's the one she means. I don't know how old she is. Well, if I had to guess, um, don't tell her I said this. I gotta make sure my phone is hung up. I do not want to hear her. I don't want her to hear me guessing about her age. Lord have mercy. I'd say she's probably in her early 70s. Probably. 
but I don't know because she won't tell me and I'm not allowed to look at anything so I don't know but I know that one day I will find a good woman that she will approve of and not run off one of these days she finds problems everywhere she meddles in oh yes ma'am heart disease no she's never had any trouble her heart is in wonderful shape she's never gonna die yes yes ma'am she does she yes yes she lives with me yes ma'am in her house yes she does um we she has been living with me in her house now well all my life <laughs> My date of birth, um, well, now I left that blank as well because I don't really see where my date of birth matters for any reason. Like, I don't know why you need to know how old I am. And no offense, ma'am, but I was reading this form. Y'all are really nosy. I mean, do you not have any concept of, like, personal space and boundaries here? You, you got real personal with this form. And I filled out what I was comfortable filling out. The rest of it, I just left it blank because, frankly, I don't see where it's any of your business. I mean, I don't want i don't want you to think ill of me. Now, you don't have to tell your boss man I said that. Boss lady, yes, you don't have to tell that harpy what I said, but um, I, I, just, I just don't see where I, I have to tell you that. <laughs> my insurance, my, it won't affect my insurance. I mean, all you got to do... There's a there's a there's a pager number on here. There's a phone number, but it's a pager number, and it's for Bill. And you need to call Bill. And it's funny because you for Bill, and you got to call Bill, but that's his name. His name is William, and they call him Bill. I don't know why. Why don't they call? Why don't they call him William? William, Bill, Will. Why don't they call him Bill? Shouldn't Bill be short for William? But they call him Bill. And Bill will decide. I mean, Bill knows how old I am. I had to tell him that when I bought this policy. That's all Bill knows. And nobody else need to know that. You just tell Bill that I came here. We'll have your Bill the lady, have, have whoever, Robert, have Robert tell Bill, you know, look, Carl was in here and he needed to get examined by the doctor and, uh, and here's what it's going to cost. And then Bill will decide how to proceed. I don't know, because like I said, I haven't had to do any medical stuff since I went to the place at the pool hall that burnt down mysteriously. And I have not needed any medical services since then. So I, I'm kind of new. I'm having to feel my way around this whole medical uh, malpractice. What is it called? The med medical field? I don't know. You know, I thought about becoming a doctor. I did. I, I thought about, do they have a correspondence course for that? Is it something that you can just write away and, you know, write to them, call, call them on the phone and, and, you know, just say, hey, can you send me some information about your, your correspondence course? Like, the doctors here, I mean, did, how did how did they get to be doctors? Where did they go to school? Did they go to school or did they? How does that work? I mean, because frankly, I. Oh, you have to go. You have to go to school. Is there anywhere around Camden that you can go to doctor school? Because I, I couldn't be too far away from mother. Um. The, there's not. Well, that won't work for me then because I, I have to. I have to stay with her. You know, I got to take care of her and, uh, you know, give her somebody to cook for and clean for and do laundry for because she, it gives her a sense of purpose. And I'm just glad I can give her that in her declining years. You well, know, they seem to be her acceleration years because I swear the older she gets, the more energetic she is. You ought to see her shimmy up those stairs to go get my basket of clothes to wash them. She irons my socks, and she said she's just getting me prepared for the right woman. I don't know about all that, but I'm, I, I'm a big fan of the women's libs where women don't have to do all that, but I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the arrangement that I have with Mother, but one day she's going to have to hand me off to a, yuck, a yucky, a lucky young lady. Yes. 
and uh, she's going to be she's going to be pleasantly surprised once she gets used to our lifestyle and I see you checking your watch. I get the hint. Yes, ma'am. You, you, so do I give this to you or do I have to wait? Okay. Now, I'll, yes, ma'am, I'll wait here. Are you going to close that door? Because I, I, I have an itch and I don't really care to have anybody walk by and see me scratch it. So, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Would you like to shake my hand now? You can just touch it. It's You pureled the daylights out of it. I don't see why you won't. Thank you. They, oh, your hands are surprisingly soft, but your skin is very cold. You feel like a delightful lizard or something. Yes, but I mean that with all due respect. I like lizards. I think lizards are great. Yes, you, you're cold like one. Do you have a heat rock back there in your office that you lay on on your lunch break? That was a joke. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. I apologize. That wasn't funny. I have trouble gauging my humor sometimes for people, and it goes off in a tangent. She's already gone. I ain't got a scratch nothing. I just want to see that. Oh, now this looks like fun. Well, I didn't hear anything. I thought these things were supposed to help you hear stuff. I don't hear it. You must have to be real smart to do this. Go to doctors. Yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Are you another nurse? You're the doctor? You, you, you are the doctor. What, yes ma'am, I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm having trouble <laughs> hiding that surprise because I was, I, no, no offense, I was expecting some wrinkled old man to come in here. Wow, I wasn't, <laughs> You're, you're stunning. You're stunning. So you went to doctor school? Was it hard? I bet it was. I bet you're, I bet you're super smart. My goodness. Oh, no, well, I, I kind of picked it up from over there. I hope that's okay. I was trying to figure out how it works, and I couldn't get it to work. This right here? It goes in my ears. Are you sure about that? Because that I don't think that's correct. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll try it. That hurts my ears. I don't care for it. Yes. Oh. 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 I want to go to doctor school. I love it. Can I touch you with this? Can I put this on you? No, ma'am. I, I am an independent, an independent adult. No, my mother is not with me. I did bring my phone, though, in case she tries to call. Can I put this on? Put it on myself. Yes, ma'am. I can... I can literally hear my heart. I can hear my own heart. You have stickers? What do they say? Hold up. Can you please hold that up? I was a good patient with a thumbs up. Can I get one of those before I go? I think I've been a good patient so far. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might have gotten earwax on here. I apologize. Oh, yeah. I'll just put that right there. What is this? A biohazard bin? Yes, ma'am. I'll put that down. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have played with. I shouldn't have played with this stuff because it's not mine. Mother's always telling me, "Don't play with things that are not yours." And sometimes I forget. I'm sorry. What am I here for? Um. Well, I kind of don't want to say now. Um. I'm here because um. Just, just a moment. 
Oh, I'm just marking some. <laughs> I'm just marking some now. It's no big, no big deal. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I just put some stuff down wrong under reason for visit. We don't need to worry about that. No, I'm here because I have a nasty, nasty hangnail. Yes. And I just wanted you to see it. I wanted to document it in case it gets infected. Yes, there's no need for me to take off anything or show you anything. Yes, because I certainly... <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Uh, so this is your nurse. So she is your nurse. No, you don't have to tell her what I told you. You... That, yes, yes, I'm, yes, I do have something down there that is, is a problem, but I, I don't feel comfortable with you looking at it. See, when it comes to, you know, down there, under certain circumstances, I want a, a lovely lady like yourself to look at it. Under other circumstances, no. This is a circumstance where I don't think you need to be looking down there. It's it's not appropriate, ma'am. I, I you know it, it's not something you want to show a lady. Seriously, so I mean I'm gonna have to ask you a question here, um, doctor, ma'am. Do you have any wrinkled old men doctors here that could check out my problem? No, ma'am. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm sure you're real good at doctor stuff. I mean, I imagine you're just, you know, you just do a whiz-bang job, but I just don't think it's appropriate. If my mother found out that I made you look at this, I just don't think she would let me come back in the house. She'd probably change the locks. I don't want to sleep in the doghouse anymore. We haven't had a dog in years. And the doghouse is scary. I think it's haunted, and I don't like sleeping in it. It's full of spider webs, and I don't, I don't like it. It's lumpy, and I don't know what the lumps are. It's uncomfortable for my. Uh, well. Okay. Well, if I don't have any other choice, are you sure you're the only doctor here? I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting your ability to know that. I'm just saying, are you sure? Is, is she is she the only doctor here? Well, can can you promise that you won't tell my mother? And can we just keep this between us? I mean, can y'all just not tell anybody? Is there any kind of a thing where you don't have to? I don't like the thought of you going out there and telling everybody my health business. You won't. You promise. Scouts honor. You just you won't. Okay. Well. All right. Ma'am, if you would just shut that door. Are you staying in here? Okay, if you just shut shut the door. Okay, well, well let me tell you what happened. First of all, um, so it was New Year's Eve. This is when it started. I was at Dollar General. I was looking for some blow, blowers, you know, for New Year's. Uh, mother wanted some, and uh, and she wanted one for her turtle. I said, Mother, a turtle cannot do one of the little blow things. A turtle cannot do that. I don't even know that a turtle would want to do that. Mother, forget it. You're not even going to stay awake that long. You'll sit there and watch reruns of Mama's Family and be asleep by 7 o'clock. I will not. She went out and bought Red Bull without telling me, and she had put it into her little... She has this little coffee mug with Santa on it. And I figured she was just drinking, you know, some hot tea or something. She was pounding down Red Bull, and she's twitchy. And she got worse. And she started insisting that I go up to the Dollar General before they closed and get some blowers for her and her dang turtle. She said I could have one, too, if there were any left in the pack. Well, I got there. And I saw this most beautiful woman I ever saw in my life. And, and I know I've said that before. I actually mean it. She was, no, no offense, because you, you are remarkable. I mean, you are just intimidating to me. I mean, not only are you beautiful, but you're a doctor. I mean, how, you probably went to school. What is that? At least, at least two years, you got to go to school to be a doctor. Wow. So, it's how many? Oh, ma'am, I, I had no idea. Well, you are extra smart. You are extra smart then. But anyway, I saw this lady, 
and she she was buying camouflage crocs and she picked them up off the peg wall and i saw her and i swooned and i crashed into a duct tape display in the middle of the aisle and as i fell backwards my legs splayed out like this and i felt this horrific tear in my nether regions i felt this horrible pain i don't know what it was and then when i went to get up i had the shelf now you know because january was coming and you have all this fitness stuff i had taken down a shelf with me and some discount kettlebells fell on my stomach and they hit me they were 215 pounds the 20 pound hit my foot i'm not so worried about that because i was wearing mother's steel toe boots the 15 pound discount kettlebells hit me in the stomach and as i went to remove the kettlebells and stand up i felt this searing tearing pain in my you know down there that's not the technical term i didn't want to get too technical but with you being a doctor you might know what i mean but down there you know i felt this tear and i got home and uh and and i forgot the blowers and mother was mad she said where are my blowers and by this time dollar general was closed because i went by the the car wash and um I, I wanted to spray down my, my el camino and make it look extra nice um i tried to do this in an, an attempt to avoid the the situation i thought if i walk around a little bit the pain will subside well it just got worse and worse and uh and i got home and i was walking funny and mother was so twitchy she didn't notice she thought there was an earthquake i said mother that's just you that you're sitting in that chair vibrating and that's when i put two and two together and i realized all those red bull cans in the trash were from her of course i don't know who else it would have been but it took me a minute and i said i forgot the blowers mother i fell over a duct tape display i saw a beautiful woman buying camouflage crocs and i fell down and I got hit in the stomach with kettlebells at a, at a reasonable price. And she didn't care. She was mad because I didn't have the blowers. I laid in bed just writhing in pain. And I have been in pain ever since. I don't know what I tore. I think part of my body is sticking out a little bit in a tear. I'm not sure what's happened to me. But I... The only thing I need to do since my, my regular health care facility mysteriously burnt down, the only thing I knew to do was go to the urgent care. And uh, that's how I ended up here today. So um, you don't have to actually look at it, though, do you? I mean, I've given you a very thorough description of how it happened and, and what led to it. I even described the crocs, the kettlebells. If you need to know the location of the Dollar General, it was the one on Fremont Street in, in Camden. It was that, that one. Not the new one they're building or the other new one. Or the other new one. Or that other new one. Um, or the other new one behind that. It was the one on Fremont Street. So I, I, th I think we're, you know, I, I think we're good. I don't think I need to strip down or, or splay out, you know, spread eagle in front of you or anything. I, do, do you have enough to go on? Like, can you just prescribe me some goody powders and, you know, can we just call it good? Or we don't need to do anything, do we? Oh, well. I mean, if you think so. I mean, I, I personally, I, I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. Well, I, I have a confession, ma'am. Um, I've never, uh, I've never actually taken any clothing off in front of a woman so i don't i don't think i actually can without having a panic attack so um can you can you just give me like some ace bandages that i could fashion something out of to kind of hold everything in there and you know maybe i can maybe i can work something out with some super glue or maybe maybe some bathtub caulk because it's good on you know for wet areas that that not that not that i'm wet you know not that i'm got swamp ass or anything like that pardon my french but you know can you don't have to look at it is what i'm saying okay but um i'm not ready to do that today i i can't and and, and please please use your discretion please do not tell my mother 
I did not wear my good underwear. I forgot I got here and I realized I wore I wore my yard sale underwear. It's underwear I, that I got at a yard sale and coincidentally typically wear it when I'm going to yard sales and it's not the best. Um, it has lived an interesting life, I believe, before I got it and, and it has lived an interesting life since then, especially after I went to that all you can eat buffet at, at the Taco Bell and yeah, I, I don't need to say anything further, but can we schedule it for another day? Perhaps I could come back to the urgent care when I'm sure there's at least one wrinkled old man that works here. There he is. Is, is she telling the truth or am I going to come in and see her again? Okay, what's, it, what's his name? Okay, all right. Now, is he going to be here tomorrow? Because I, I can come back. Okay, well, why, why don't we just do that? Because... No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mother, mother had some, um, some kind of pills left over from her back surgery, and uh, and I, I took one the other night, and I was I was smelling colors. And it was really good, and I don't mind another night of that. But I I, I think I'm I'm just gonna have to uh, I'm just gonna have to do that now since we did not complete anything today. We did not bring this to completion. Can, ma'am, can you tell me? I'm not going to be billed for this, am I? Because y'all didn't actually do anything other than weigh me and take my blood pressure and temperature. I mean, we don't, we, I don't really think, you know, I've got $5 that I could give you for your time today. Well, with all due respect, you didn't really do anything. I mean, all you did was come in here and make a face at me several times. and I don't really understand your hostility towards me. Um... I think I have presented you with a sound case for why I cannot have you, you know, looking at it. Um, well, yes, there is pain, but like I said, I have mother's pills, and and they're they're really really good. I mean, they're old, but they work great. They have, they're a little fuzzy, like the coating has kind of started coming off. But when you sw swallow them real quick with a bunch of water, you don't notice it. Um, so I don't know that I need to give you my insurance card. We could just settle up. I have, I have, um, I tell you what I have. I have a Walmart gift card that my, my neighbor gave me. Well, it's got about $3 left on it. I took it to Walmart earlier and I had to get some stuff for mother. I had to get her, her, uh, foot cream and I had to get some stuff for her back. I had, I could give you that. It's a pretty card. It's got a shiny rocking horse on it. You know, it's real. It might be a collector's item for all I know. It's beautiful. So, uh, and, and that way, I, I think if I could give you the five I got and give you that, no offense, I'm not saying you're worth less than the doctor, but you know, you probably don't make the same. I could give you the three dollars on the gift card. I got a five for you. Can we just call it even? And then when I come back, I'll pay the doc, the real doctor, the money out of my insurance. Can we do that? Not to say you're not a real doctor, but the one that's actually going to do something. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate it, ma'am. You you are you are very beautiful. I have to say you are very beautiful, and I bet you're you're super smart. Yes, I, I bet I would love to watch Jeopardy with you sometime. I bet I'd learn a lot because I just come away confused every time I watch that show. I just feel so confused. Mother told me to stop watching it. She said, just stick to Wheel of Fortune. Don't try to stretch yourself too much. I don't listen, and that's why I get all, all nervous, and then I feel inadequate. But I bet if I watched Jeopardy with you, you'd explain the answers to me, and that'd be real nice. We could tape it on my VCR and pause it so you could explain things. I noticed that you also are not wearing a ring. Are you having to live by that Harpy's rules where you can't wear jewelry or are you actually not married? Well, I, I understand that you feel that it may not be my business, but I, I think it's only fair. I mean, I come in here and y'all give me this form and ask me a bunch of personal questions. Turnabout's fair play. I just want to see how you feel about having somebody ask you a bunch of personal stuff. I don't want us to end on a bad note. Let me just say, you have very exciting ankles, and I think that you are very pretty, and your hair is lovely. 
and it looks like you spend a lot on it. What do you probably spend? I bet you spend twenty dollars when you get your hair done. Look at it. God, I appreciate that, ma'am. But I wasn't trying to be funny. But I'm glad you found that funny. Yes, ma'am. Um. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go, and I will come back tomorrow. Do I need to make an appointment with this old man doctor, or do I just show up? Oh yes, ma'am. It is the urgent care. I will just show up. I will be here in the morning. Can I just keep this? Because I tell you what, this this thing is actually really cute. I like I like this. Uh, I like this clipboard. Can I have it? Can I have it? I'll bring it back tomorrow. I promise. All right. Well, I'm keeping the form. I'm keeping the form, and I will let you have that back. Okay. Well, I appreciate everything, and I guess I will uh, go home and cinch everything up down below and pop some pills and go to bed. Thank you so much for your help. Yes, ma'am.